Hi, I'm Barry. Again, before we start any decorating project, we must protect our services. So we've got a few little products here which will help you along the way. So this is a hardwood floor that we're working on on this side of the set and we've protected this with some of the Corex and we use this uh, for Lucas on, on a lot of our jobs. Okay? Again, it protects the surface from sort of any heavy impact but also just creates that professional image. Now, again on this hardwood floor, we've got a few problems okay? or a few, little, a few little issues that we need to overcome. So we're going to be, again, painting this skirting board, we're going to be painting this white but when we get our brush and against this, this hardwood floor, as I'm coming to paint underneath here, or paint this skirting board, it's gonna get, un the paint's gonna get underneath the skirting. And then when we pull the masking tape off or we pull anything away, you're gonna see when you're sitting there, you're gonna see this white line. Okay, so we, again, we don't want that. So, a couple of, little, couple of little tricks for you. You can use newspaper, but I prefer to use some lining paper. And I've just cut a few pieces up. It's dead easy to do. So we just get our lining paper, just tuck the corner in there, and then we slide it along. Okay. Now, further on down, it's the, the guys that have fitted the, the skirting board, it's really, really tight against this floor, and we can't get the line, this lining paper down any further. I'll just slide it down just a little bit, so you can see it. So that's as far as it's going to go without tearing. Okay, so we'll just get another piece this side. So I've got a nice gap here. Okay, and that's as far as it goes then. So again, it's very, very tight against this, this part of the floor. So we're just going to mask that up. So we've got a couple of pieces of different types of masking tape. This is again your, your standard masking tape. But if we leave this on the surface for more than a few days, it's gonna leave a nasty residue on the floor. So I've got some, uh, some low tack tape here and you can leave this uh, on the surface for a good seven days before that does happen. And again, once that residue is on the floor, it's, a, it's terrible to get off. So let's just get some of this. Now you might need to do this a few times. We've got quite a nasty joint here. Okay, and it's gonna be quite a challenge to get that to be flushed out okay, when we're painting it. But again, the skirting board is not quite straight. So we might need to put a few pieces of masking tape down. So we'll start off on this first one. Again, take your time with this. There's no rush. You want to get that perfect finish. Okay, and it's just left that little gap there just where this chamfer of this skirting board is. So again, we'll just get a bit more masking tape. And again, it's this, this professional image that we're after. That we don't, we make a beautiful job of the walls and everything else. But then when we come to take everything off and it's left paint all over the floor, okay, that's when your, your reputation can get damaged. And also, you want that, you want that beautiful job that people could come in and admire. So again, I've just got this little hairline gap there. Let's just drop a little bit more masking tape in. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to carry on and do the rest of uh, put the lining paper down. But also, while I'm over this way, I've got this uh, bottom of this door frame that we're going to protect. And again, there's no gaps underneath here that I can slide any paper underneath. So again, if you refer back to one of my other videos, um, you can see how I've done this. Remember where I tore it with my thumb? Okay, so if I just pull that across there, and that's going to give me a nice point. Okay, it's worth while just get a little scraper in as well. Make sure it's dust free because the masking tape won't stick. that corner, that scraper, put it in. Okay, so 
now we shouldn't get any paint on the floor around there. And again, it's making this perfect straight line that we're after. It's just sticking up just a little bit there. So let's just push it down with our scraper. Just tuck it underneath again, because otherwise we'll have some timber exposed. Here. Right, I'm going to carry on and uh, finish the rest off. So now that's all completed, we're going to put some dust sheets down. Now the reason for that is that when we're painting these surfaces, the paint's going to come down and it's going to splash onto the floor, okay? and that's not going to soak in anywhere, and it's going to sit on the top of the Corex. So we'll come along with our feet, we'll be treading in it, and then we'll go into the next room and it'll then get onto our customer's carpet, or our carpet for instance. Okay, so we're going to put some dust sheets down, and again if you look at one of my other videos, we always double these over. And what these are going to do, is once again we've got some paint maybe on the bottom of our floor that we haven't seen or bottom of our, our shoe that we haven't seen that we've trodden on this is going to soak all this up and it's going to take it from our feet before we go on to the next room